Marino will have to be at the top of his game tonight because the undefeated Jacksonville Jaguars are matched up against the Dolphins. The league's hottest new franchise faces Florida's traditional favorites on ABC's Monday Night Football. A beautiful fall evening in northern Florida, not far from the Georgia border. In Jacksonville, this used to be the Gator Bowl. Now it's refurbished all Tell Stadium. And this is Taylor, their top draft choice on the opening play of the game with one man to beat. And he is not run down by Madison and scores. Well, I guess you can set up the Miami defense the next series. Oh, man. Tom Coughlin, who doesn't miss a beat, imploring the crowd to get noisy, and they do. And on third and five, it is caught by McDuffie. Marino from the gun. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up by the offensive line, and then it's almost intercepted as McDuffie had to become the defender. We'll see, we'll see a lot of corner play tonight that won't be as well done as what McDuffie did as far as stripping the ball. Mm -hmm. right. Klaus Wilmsmeyer kicks and the punt is a beauty because it goes out of bounds. Early first quarter, seven to nothing, Jaguar. Bunnell, hit as he throws, going deep and goes into the arms of Jimmy Smith. He catches it for a big game. The rookie from Iowa. Miami showing blitz and here they come. Good protection, going deep, one-on-one, -on -one, reaching out and off the fingertips of Keenan McCardell. I think the emphasis is uh, in the papers and in the minds of people. I, I just don't think that they have the receivers that they used to have. So he doesn't feel comfortable. We started with 83 because that was Marino's first. Outstanding catch. First down from the 34-yard line. Halfway through the opening quarter. End around. They give it to McDuffie who gets a nice block. And then he's taken down, ridden down hard at the 40-yard line. Stanley Pritchett through the block. A wide receiver finishes it off. Second down and five. Molino runs it to the outside, and it's off the fingertips of Horace Copeland on the 39-yard line. 7-0 Jacksonville on a Fred Taylor 77-yard run. Little swing pass caught by Avery, and the rookie, no place to run, is tackled. Knowing that they had to see Smith and Mark Cardell all alone tonight. First down from the 33-yard line. Brunel, and he can run. He's as nifty as they come, as mobile as any quarterback in the league, and he shows you why right there. Legitimate MVP candidate at quarterback. Third down and nine. And that's caught, but well short of the first down. They go to Reggie. There's really no way you can because you don't have time. I mean, the NFL season is, is upon us, and he's got to work through it now. Second and ten, and that pass is off the fingertips and almost intercepted. Miami's play selection so far, four runs, nine passes. Here comes the tenth on third and ten. And Marino throws into traffic. It is caught, but a little short of the first down. But he is accurate. He knows where to put it. Wilmsmeyer to punt it. Barlow back to accept it. It's a short kick. It's only a 34-yard kick. And then taken down. They're trying to come up with a big play. Second and nine. Freddie Taylor swinging to the outside. Ran for over 100 yards that afternoon. Third down and four. Shotgun, fake inside give. Brunel throws on the run, wide open, and coming back to make the catch is Reggie Barlow. A lot of misdirection. That was a good-looking play. First down from the 27-yard line. Wide open. This is Damon Shelton, and the fullback has it inside the 10 down to the 8. Second and goal from the 2, out of the eye. Taylor looking for a second touchdown of the night, and he has it. Well, Fred Taylor grew up a Miami Dolphins fan. Said, well, that was then and this is now. And they can hopefully only get better. Third down and four. A little toss to Parmalee, swing to the outside, and Bernie reaches for a first down. That roll has now fallen to Bryce Pop. 
Second and 13 from the 39-yard line. Marino slings it. Finally, a man is wide open, and the catch is made instructive with his, with his route. That was a 23-yard gain. Now on first down, pressure from the backside. Pop down goes Dan in the arms of a man who is no stranger to the Pro Bowl. Deposited Dan Marino as about as about as gently as a guy could do it. That's, That's respect. Yes, it is. That's <laughs> his first full sack of the season. And then wide open is Lamar Thomas. So a few moments ago, they were working on Thomas. After making the catch to give Miami a first down at the 18-yard line, and now the catch is made in the flat out here by Stanley Pritchett. A ton of yardage and points in the red zone. This year, they lead the league in red zone defense. Movement up front. But no flag, and the second and one. Come up in the eye. Spread it out a little bit, and Abdul Jabbar gets banged back again at the one-yard line. Third down and goal from the two-yard line. The play fake and the toss into the end zone, and wide open is Troy Drayton to make the catch. So wide open, Dan almost missed him. <laughs> This is what they call the old Y sneak where the tight end, who's known as the Y in the offense, kind of makes like he's blocking and going out play side, but then sneaks and drags underneath. Everybody else in the pursuing defense loses track of him. Thank you, Dan. Third. <laughs> Come see me on the Playboy channel. Third down and eight. Oh, yeah. And that is intercepted by Terrell Buckley at the 40-yard line, and he brings it back to the 36. Intended for McCardle. And a slant caught. Third and 13. Uh -oh. And that is intercepted at the nine by Aaron Beasley. And Marino misses him, and then he gets spun down at the 45 by Kevin Donnelly. Jimmy is just livid over on the sideline. As far as Tampa. Or Jacksonville. Third and one. Oh. And stopped in his tracks by Tim Bowens is Fred Taylor. Woo, what a play by Bowens. League average is four. And this is. And you're in the neutral zone. First down up at the 25. And that is caught over the middle. I think he might be talking about the little chicanery with Neil O'Donnell. Yes, sir. Yeah. First and 15, and that's caught on the near side. And short in the game. He doesn't want to give Jacksonville another opportunity if they don't make it here. Third and one. They have a ton of time with their three timeouts. But they have to convert. And the question is, on this little short pass, did they? I don't, think so. short. I don't think so. I don't think so. 330 pounds. That, and how well he moves for that side. And first and 20, they give the ball to Tavian Banks. And the rookie third down back on first down takes the ball all the way to the 27 with 12 seconds left and puts them in field goal range. 51 yards to Jacksonville in a position Half running out the clock. The next thing you know, they're in field goal range, and Brunel will slide to a halt and call time out of the 28, and they'll bring in Hollis. And he did a great job in getting Mark Brunel here. 45-yard attempt for Hollis. Parker puts it down, and Hollis, who's been erratic this season, misses this one. <laughs> Third and 17, declining the penalty. They have to get to the Jacksonville 45, and they get to the 38-yard line on the catch by the tight end, Ed Perry, and another flag. Take a look here. Actually, it wasn't. It was number 32. Oh, it's Mike, Mike Logan. Logan. You cannot do that. Personal oh, foul. Oh. Roughing the passer. I've seen hits worse. Not, not as bad as that one received suspension. I can tie the 22-yard line. The catch is made by McDuffie. Dolphins trying to tie it up. Over the middle, that's a first down. It was first and goal at the eight. It is now third and goal at the 22. This is a very demonstrative Tom Coughlin. Juggled snap. Oh, picked uh, off. Flag down. 
This is picked off by the rookie Donovan Darius, who runs it out of the end zone. Push them down. Pass interference. 45. Defense. First down. They try it again with Abdul Jabbar. Touchdown. Oh. He just did get oh. in. I don't oh. know about his body was in, but I don't think the football was in. Well, it's too late to argue it now, but you're right. His hips made it in, but he was doing a pirouette in the air. Doing a I helicopter. Know. I don't know. Over on the Jacksonville sideline, he looked pretty good jogging off. Banks comes in to replace him, and oh, Cornell gets buried. So the Dolphins very fired up right now as Kenny Mixon, the rookie from LSU, got there first, and then Zach Thomas cleaned up. Second and 11 from the 36-yard line. And that's caught over the middle. Great grab by Lamar Thomas, reaching up. 1.6. And yet the game is even as Marino throws. And at the 28-yard line, that's hauled in by McDuffie. Pointed out before in over a year for McDuffie. On third and four. Caught and reaching out and getting the first down. To me, to set the play up for the defense way in advance. Second and eight. Marino wide open. Drayton touchdown. And take some chances down the field because Miami is still hasn't changed their defensive philosophy. They're aggressive. They're one on one on the outside. Fred Taylor, bruised shoulder, his return is uncertain. That is caught by the tight end, Pete Mitchell, seeking the first down. Comes close, pretty much untested. Second and one. Thanks. Tavian picks up a first. The sense right now is that Mark Brunell is not seeing down the field quite clearly enough. That was a dangerous throw, obviously. He was glassy eyed on that last series, and he might be again here as Trace Armstrong sacks him. First and 14 from the four-yard line. Marino throws incomplete up at the 15, in and out of the hands of. We had a different president. Marino throws too long, intended for Gadsden. His last punt was 36 yards. This one a short kick, fielded up at the 40, and fair caught there. Patriots coming off that tremendous win over Kansas City yesterday. Here, Jacksonville down by seven. Tavian Banks is the running back, and Brunel, under pressure, escapes the sack and throws deep downfield into the end zone and broken up in the end zone. And Buckley breaks it up at the end, intended for Barlow, second down and ten at the 40 yard line. And that's a gain of six as it's pulled in by Keenan McCardell. Third and three after McCardell makes his first catch of the night. His running mate Smith hasn't played since the first quarter. And that is caught by Reggie Barlow. Follow him all the way across the field. First down from the 23-yard line. Well, by a time wide open is Keenan McCardell for the touchdown. as they got back down to the goal line Tony Baselli saying something to Jason Taylor and he I think that's a little nani nani na na there to Tony Baselli <laughs> don't anger him and don't entice him well we were never defensive ends Abdul Jabbar yeah. almost 900 last year second down and 10 Molino throws and oh. Lamar Thomas reaches Man. for it makes the catch Third and eight, the owner of the Jaguars, Wayne Weaver, looks on. Third and eight, Marino out of the shotgun. Here they come, up through the middle. Marino draped around his ankle that time was Travis Davis. He got it away incomplete. Rotating in and out of the lineup, and Jabbar Threats as well. Third down and six. Brunel from Barlow, incomplete. Good coverage that time, one on one. Abdul Jabbar. 
second and a short one. First down, Jabbar. Okay. From the 49-yard line, Abdul Jabbar in the Jacksonville territory. Gain of seven of the 44. On second and three. They grind it a little more on the ground. Very close to a first down. Three receiver set. In addition, the Dolphins are right at the outer edge of field goal range. Third down and three, and it's incomplete. Oh, and they got some pressure on Dan. Vilmsmeyer is the normal punter, but he's going to put it down, and Mare's going to kick it, and the kick is no good. Had the distance, but just wide. Ooh, and Jimmy grinds his teeth. First down from the 44-yard line. Now the pressure on the Miami defense says... Brunel goes deep for McCarnell. He beats Buckley. Touchdown. And Jason Taylor now gets taunted by Tony Baselli. And when this play was over, Just let sleeping Watch dogs it. lie, my friend. That's right. Don't the ball's gone. And Tony Baselli, at the end of this thing, walked up to Jason Taylor and said, let's go down and line up for an extra point. There right here. <laughs> let's go. Extra points this way. That man is 6'7", yeah. 330 pounds, yeah. running backwards like so light on his feet. Yeah. He only rushed four. Molino out of the gun, throws wide open over the middle. The catch is made. Gadsden inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Uh, and here comes the blitz. Here it comes. Straight to the football. Brackens. Jaguars have it. Tony, Tony Brackens. Brackens. He stripped it and recovered it. His first game of the year. He's hurt in the second preseason game. And that's how you make an impact when you come back. Now Miami has two timeouts left, so Jacksonville would need a first down to run the clock out. And Banks gets wrestled down by Thomas. Miami will take a timeout on the next play. It'll be their last. Well, here we go. So that only took three seconds, and Jason Taylor makes the tackle. Now they'll have to stop him here. The player they'd like to have in there is on the sidelines with a bad shoulder, Fred Taylor. Third down and 15. Hey, there he on the ground. This is Banks going forward, but of course, when you need 15. Neil O'Donnell is one of the big stars of the day elsewhere. The X Jet. 15 yard line, Terrell Buckley runs out of bounds at the 20, 48 seconds. Flagged out at the 50. Holding number 29 of the receiving team during the kick. First and 10 at the eight-yard line. Juggle, caught, and Parmalee can't get out of bounds. Mike Logan drops him. And really what the, what the Jaguars are doing now is they have two safeties over the top of the outside receivers playing real deep. It's going to be very difficult to get any completions. Over the middle they go, and that's incomplete. And the very next play was a 56-yard touchdown pass. Third down and six. That's caught. This is Parmalee and Bernie just run straight up the field. All they're trying to do is give him a chance to get in an area where he could probably throw a Hail Mary. They're going to spike in the mid throw the Hail Mary. Okay, okay. Marino along the way tonight, 322 yards. It's the 57th time in his career. He's thrown for 300 or more yards. Another Marino record. Second down and 10. Barring a defensive penalty, this will end the game. Knockdown. And the Jaguars go to 5 0. Grant Boyer knocked it down. Tom Coughlin's team takes off on a three game road trip with a two game lead in the AFC Central. And the Dolphins, who guttily came from behind, once down 14 to nothing, then out in front 21 to 14, head back to Miami.